Now to an eight on your side update. April 1st may not have been the best day for a major switch from Verizon to Frontier. It was no joke to thousands of customers who lost internet and phone service. Frontier is still struggling with some issues. And eight on your side's Jeff Patterson joins us now live in Tampa. And Jeff, this impacted a lot of people in a lot of ways. Yeah, good evening, Josh. At Zudar's here on Friday, they couldn't take phone calls, couldn't take phone orders, they couldn't process credit cards. To put it mildly, a lot of Frontier customers are not happy so far with the transition. Zudar's is a busy place on any given day, taking phone orders and credit cards for customers, but not on Friday. Friday morning, we arrived to find that we had no communications at all here, and as a business, obviously, we were quite concerned. When Verizon flipped the switch to Frontier, Zudar's and thousands of other customers were left in the dark ages. No phone, no internet. Eight on your side started reporting about widespread problems on Friday. We continue to look for answers because some services, like video on demand, still aren't working. Some customers are angrily complaining on Frontier's Facebook page about the service and other problems, posting, is this an April Fool's joke? Others want out of their contract. When, when I th tried to get the internet on, all I got was a red light. In Clearwater, 90-year-old Lester Wolskowski just wants his internet back. Frontier told us there may be some isolated problems. Some aren't even related to the switch. Try telling that to Mr. Wolskowski. Here I am, still without internet. A company spokesman declined our request for an on-camera interview, only issuing a statement saying in part, we are devoting significant time and resources to successfully resolving any and all issues. Yeah, and this just in, I just took a, a voicemail here. Mr. Wiskowski is a very happy customer right now, at least with date on your side. He says that after our visit, after we let Frontier know about his problem, they sent a technician to his house, and he now has Internet service. Unfortunately, there are still people out there. They were calling me as late as 4 o'clock this afternoon, or even 5 o'clock this afternoon, Josh, telling me, they have problems, but Frontier claims that some of those are not related to the switch. They're just normal Internet problems. Well, that is, and that's frustrating. You know, in the first week of business isn't a time to be giving things away, but is Frontier offering anything to help with these problems? Not so far. They say they are still considering options, but right now they're not even offering a discount on the bill for the lost days of service. We'll keep on this. We'll let you know what happens. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's over uh, just yet. Jeff Patterson live for us in Tampa. Thank